Hello, my name is Aditi Satish. I am Himal Bhalla. I am Jagriti Patel. I am a first year PhD student. I am second year biological engineering student. Department of Biological Sciences and Engineering. Department of Biological Sciences and Engineering. I've applied for it in the autumn semester and um, the process was pretty simple because I uh, I have applied as a direct entry student. So I had to apply for an SOP, uh, an LOR and a small abstract of my research. Uh, the whole procedure was so challenging. Uh, a lot of hard work and emotions were there during the process. Overall, if you work hard for it, you will eventually get it. Uh, the experience was very exciting. First of all, to go through the process, for a later process, you have to make a CV, SOP, as well as your proposal. It's very exciting because you have been given your qualifiers and you need to make your proposal on the same day. So you don't know that what you'll be doing. But you have to write that, okay, this is the things I have to do in my whole PhD journey. You need to make the proposal in three pages with references, CV in one page, SOP in one page. So making everything that compact is was very stressful. But my guide helped me throughout the journey and it was very nice, very exciting enough. The vision of PMRF is something similar to my ideals for research. Foster my passion and enthusiasm for the research, for cutting edge research, translational research and interdisciplinarity. Obviously it will help financially, but for travel money as well as attending conferences which lacks a certain amount, getting this fellowship you will get 2 lakhs uh, particular for year to year. Again, for consumables, if you don't have enough money in your uh, lab on, you can get the things that you require for your research. I'm working in life science research and I plan to join academia after my PhD. And uh, PMRF is a great opportunity and a great stepping stone for me to join research as well as uh, into the world of teaching. If you're doing something, make sure that you show it to the community. To show doesn't mean that, okay, you have to get a journal publication or a conference proceeding. You can just show your poster or just get your work out there. Be hard working about it. Start from the day one. And once you get here, uh, begin to have a lot of preparations about it. Be informed about what courses you need to take, what are the requirements of PMRF and talk to your seniors. PMRF is not just a prestigious fellowship, but it also comes with a huge responsibility. Uh, we're not only expected to do good quality uh, research at uh, good facilities like uh, different IITs and NITs, um, but we're also expected to perform some teaching assistantship duties that are outside the institute. And I think uh, everyone who applies for PMRF must consider these things before anything else. I'm from uh, Medical Ultrasound Engineering Lab. So I work in Diagnostic Imaging. So my research aims to characterize different types of tissues. So uh, let's say if it's a normal and abnormal tissue, so there would be differences on based on their structures. So I aim to delineate the different types of tissue based on their properties, the structure, how they're holding into it. All life functions depend on uh, the expression of genes. Uh, it is uh, expected that genes are uh, functioning in the normal way, they're expressing in the normal way by using adequate amount of energy as required to perform in a healthy manner. However, we have noticed that there are uh, some genes that are uh, using more energy than required. Perhaps it has some advantageous role in how they're being expressed. Perhaps they are useful in some disease conditions. So I'm trying to understand what is this, uh, how is this energy requirement in these particular genes. We would like to understand this particular question, something that has not been answered for quite a while and something that has been left aside. 